Hi everybody, today it's the 28th of January 2021 and a thought occurred to me, it seemed to be a good opportunity to talk about the distance of my hive from my house. On a day like today, I can even see from my uh, lounge window that uh, at my hive, which I'm just pointing out is around there uh, in your screen, there will be bees coming in and out of the entrance and where it's positioned, they just gently catch the light. So I see a little gleaming flicker to tell me that my bees are out and about. So having spotted that, I'm drawn to come out and take a good look at the hive entrance. And it's a particularly a great sight today. That's right, we can see so much today. So we've got a really nice sight at the hive entrance. We've also got uh, some bees taking pollen in today. Looks, uh, lots of them around the entrance, so perhaps some orientation flights, but it certainly is a much encouraging sight. Uh, when all the time, as you know, I've always been wondering, you know, will my colony make it through the winter? And so far, it's looking pretty promising. And really what I wanted to say, which was something a bit different from what I've talked about so far, is about how close uh, the hive might be uh, to my own house. When people have spoken to me about uh, where to place their Layens hive, I've tended to say that it needs to be in a good position, obviously not right in the direct passage of people going by or any noisy activities, but also within range of being able to access the hive fairly comfortably and fairly regularly. I felt that my greatest enjoyment this year is being able to come out and actually see the bees at work, learn what's going on and just get to know them. It's been such an incredible pleasure. For this reason, I've been against people putting their hives at some considerable distance, you know, like at the bottom of a field or something. I feel the beekeeper would really be missing out. We actively enjoy our garden as a family, so uh, having a hive in the garden doesn't mean that we have to stay inside or be super cautious. Our garden is quite large, but effectively we've divided it into two sections. This is how it was, so that our children can play and go on their swings and go on their trampoline. And just across uh, a little screen of some little fruit trees, we've got the bees end of the garden. In addition, we've also uh, got our chickens. And again, the chickens seem to be uh, okay with the, uh, with the idea of the bees. I think they know what bees are. They don't take uh, any risks and uh, we've never had a problem there. So in my garden, I keep my layens hive quite close. It must be all of about, say, 20 metres from my patio door. And I love that because, as I say, regularly, it might be uh, where I take my cup of coffee and I have a little stool sat in front of the hive entrance. I enjoy my coffee and just enjoy watching the bees about their business. A couple of years ago I attended a permaculture course and uh, one of the things I learnt from that was this idea of zoning. Uh, when you're managing your plot or your garden or your farm, uh, the principle that uh, things that needed gen general regular attention needed to be closer to the house and uh, those things that rarely needed any attention could be that bit further away. So I thought really that could definitely be applied with the bees. My enjoyment of the bees has definitely been attributable to the fact that the hive has been so close. We've been in a position to regularly enjoy being with them. 
When I've spoken to people about the position of their hive, sometimes uh, my uh, advice in saying, yes, you need to have it uh, you know, in a good little position, out of the way, but still within reach, uh, I found that others have uh, hmm, put my advice uh, down and said, you know, it'd be far too dangerous to have a hive close to the house. Now, I was particularly interested by uh, watching the Secure Acres uh, YouTube channel and uh, Wes was, uh, it was a great video showing the various colonies he has. So it was interesting for me because obviously I have the one colony and he has different ones. And I was particularly interested when he described that one of his colonies, and he uses Layen's hives, that one of them did have a rather more aggressive temperament than the others. So really it would be hmm, totally inappropriate for me to say all bees are going to be easy and easy to work with. But what I would say is don't immediately assume that the bees are going to be sort of chasing you down the garden at, uh, you know, as soon as you go out. I have found that uh, the bees have been so easy to approach. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. I mean, the bees came to me. I didn't put them in there. Uh, they chose their own hive. Uh, they moved in, not in a bait box, but into the hive itself and uh, perhaps they're just generally very content and like I say we don't do anything to bother them we would never I would never make any noise or bang the hive or do anything like that but that said as you can hear there is traffic and they certainly tolerate that but I would say if you really want to enjoy your hive don't put it so far away that you can't be in a position to really get to know it and get the full benefit of having a relationship with your bees. If you like my channel then please uh, subscribe. I do love all the various comments and, uh, and messages that you send and uh, all the very best to you and your colonies for the spring. Bye bye. Bye.